Your dream job interview is tomorrow. You're dressed. You're prepared. You're confident. Then you walk in, and the person hiring you isn't even human. It's an algorithm, and it already doesn't like you. Welcome to the future, where your next recruiter might be running on code, not coffee. And here's the unsettling part. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's already happening. AI is now scanning resumes, ranking candidates, and deciding who even deserves a human conversation. Your carefully crafted, passionate team player paragraph, it's being judged by software that doesn't care about passion. It cares about keywords. You spent three hours perfecting your resume. The AI spent six seconds reading it, and it probably rejected you because you wrote collaborated instead of cross-functional collaboration. Miss one buzzword? Denied. Wrong font? Suspicious. Used team player too confidently? Emotionally unstable. Probably owns a cactus. AI doesn't see ambition. It sees patterns. It doesn't feel your energy. It calculates your predictability. How likely are you to quit? Burn out? Ask for a raise? If your personality registers as interesting, that's not always a compliment. And now it gets even weirder. AI recruiters can analyze your facial expressions, track your eye movements, and measure your enthusiasm by how much you smile. So you're not just selling your skills, you're performing emotional theater for a machine that thinks resting face means you hate spreadsheets. Smile too much? Suspicious. Don't smile enough? Not a culture fit. It's like Tinder, but for jobs. And the algorithm is way pickier. Here's where the reality check hits. AI was supposed to remove bias from hiring, make things fairer, more logical. But AI learns from historical data. And humans? We're biased as hell. So now we've built machines that can replicate human bias at scale, faster, colder, with zero accountability. One company famously trained its AI on years of resumes, and the system quietly started rejecting women. Not because it hated them, but because historically, leadership had been male. The AI just learned what success looked like, according to the past. Congratulations, we automated discrimination. And now there's an arms race. AI screening your resume? Use AI to write your resume. AI interviewing you? Use AI to coach your responses. Artificial intelligence. Interviewing artificial candidates. At some point, it's just going to be AI talking to AI while humans sit nearby eating chips, wondering what happened to the job. But here's what we're actually losing. The human moments. The awkward laugh. The mutual sigh at small talk. The instant where someone sees your potential beyond bullet points. AI doesn't do gut instinct. It does probability scores. And sometimes the best hires don't look perfect on paper. The career changers, the late bloomers, the beautifully messy resumes with real stories. You know who probably wouldn't survive modern AI screening? Steve Jobs. No degree, career gaps. Spent time finding himself, red flags everywhere. Yet somehow he changed the world. So should we panic? Not really. AI isn't here to steal your job. It's here to change the rules of earning one. The future doesn't belong to the most robotic candidate. It belongs to the most adaptable. The ones who learn to collaborate with machines instead of trying to out-machine them. But here's the uncomfortable question. If AI decides who gets hired, who decided what AI values? And if a machine defines your worth, is it measuring your potential or just your conformity? Maybe the real question isn't, will AI replace recruiters? It's, are you invisible to the system or misunderstood by it? Because being qualified isn't enough anymore. You need to be findable, translatable, keyword visible, and still unmistakably human when a real person finally sees you, even if the algorithm doesn't laugh at your jokes. So optimize your resume, practice your algorithm-friendly smile, and remember, somewhere behind that system is a tired human just as confused as you are. If this made you rethink your job search, your CV, 
or your LinkedIn headline, stick around. We decode the future, one awkward truth at a time. And now the real question. If AI interviewed you today, would it hire you or politely archive you forever?